Hi beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing your reading for the second week of July from the 8th to the 14th to see what's in store for you and what messages could you use right now to better navigate your reality. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. And if you have just stumbled upon this video upon my channel, I welcome you. My name is Katie and I offer weekly readings for Gemini. I offer monthly readings for Gemini and for all zodiac signs really. The weeklies though, those are based on the most watched zodiac signs. So you guys are always there, but it really depends on that. So if you would like to continue to receive weekly readings, just make sure to show me that you're there. Comment below, like, you know, say hi, just a smiley face would do. So I know that there's Gemini's watching this video. If you would like to subscribe, I invite you to click on the little golden tippy that's on the corner of this video. Or use the regular subscribe button. I would love to have you here, you guys. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm using the Mermaid Tarot. One more card. And we're done with the main reading structure. I'm gonna be pulling two important messages for you at the end of the reading using oracles. So please make sure to stay up until the end. This is a short, usually like 10 minute reading, but those messages tend to be very important at the end. Okay, so first card that we have here is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is a card of a little bit of worry, maybe stress, maybe those, those nights, those sleepless nights in which you're worrying about everything and kind of like overthinking to a point in which your energy is being a little drained. So make sure to take good care of yourself. Make sure that you're not being influenced by your worries um, to the point of, you know, having your health and your well-being affected. Let's see what you may be worrying about, um, Gemini. I almost say Pisces. <laughs> Gemini. We have the High Priestess here. So first and foremost, um, you may have noticed that I don't do reversals. That's the way that I am doing the readings right now. Um, if you resonate, awesome. If you don't resonate, there's a lot of readers out there that can do reversals and that can help you with that. Um, right now, we ha we're showing here the High Priestess. Some of you guys could be feeling a little bit worried in regards to a very intuitive person in your life, someone who's very psychic, very spiritual, very empowered, someone who is kind of like this natural um, spiritual person, whether they have their own practice or religion or belief system or they don't, but they are just highly intuitive. They know what's going on. You might be worried that this person... Um, knows about something that is going on that you haven't necessarily told them. If that's the case, um, that can resonate with you, but the message might not be the same for everybody. So for others of you, you might be a little bit worried about a judgment in regards to the high priestess. Some of you could be feeling afraid that your relationship or your partnership with a high priestess could come to an end. That could be a Pisces person. Um, that could be a Pisces female for some of you. Maybe you're worried that something will end where you don't want it to end due to certain circumstances. What I'm getting here from the High Priestess though is a very loving energy. So I don't feel like that's necessarily going to be the case. I don't feel like you should be worried. You should be able to use this person's intuition and guidance um, in order for you to find peace and allow the transformation that is occurring with the death card here you are still transforming circumstances are transforming your environment is transforming everything around you really and we have the ace of pentacles so this could be related to work this could be related to finances or new beginnings as far as professional things go 
maybe you were applying for a job and it didn't come through and now you're worried that you know your Pisces person or your intuitive person might be unsatisfied with that or that might be reason enough for them to end a partnership or relationship of some sort I don't think you need to worry about that um, there does seem to be a very powerful important new beginning in finances in your career in your material world there is maybe a new idea maybe new pentacles coming in maybe um, I feel like something is kind of like cooking be like under the surface and you're not necessarily aware of that none of you are but there's something good coming definitely something good coming with the four of pentacles here um this card popped for another sign recently and it gave me the same message which is not necessarily the one that card usually is associated with um, but instead i feel like you guys have been through a dry spell a dry time in which maybe finances or money wasn't coming in that much or maybe um, job opportunities weren't as available and i do feel like now you have the maturity to really make the most out of the opportunities that come along and maybe you have more of a humbleness to really take in everything that comes and be very grateful for it whereas maybe before you took some things for granted perhaps hmm. okay some of you guys are definitely very concerned about a person walking away from you that goes for male Geminis mostly. I am getting that you're maybe afraid that the female energy, uh, feminine energy in your life is going to be walking away from you, whether that is a mother figure, a friend, uh, a romantic partner. But it does seem to me like you're feeling afraid of them and their abandonment of you. You may even feel like there's some kind of priestess, like some kind of magical energy that is trying for your relationship not to work. Trying to manifest through magic that this person leaves your side. But you're being very objective about this. You are Gemini. You are an air sign. You know that even if your emotions can be, you know, a little all over the place, you know that at the end of the day, usually facts are more important than our perceptions um, in regards to what we worry about. So focus on the facts, focus on the information that is real, not necessarily on the stories that your mind is kind of like telling you to believe on this week, because I do feel that there's a lot of anxiety and kind of like pessimism this week from your side. So work on your perspective, work on how you are perceiving your environment. Make an active um, approach to heal your perception. Like, why do you feel like you're perceiving everything so negatively? Is that like a health issue? Is that a medical issue? You know, like, is that just, what is it? What is it that you need? What is it that you need to give yourself for you to see the light of what you are going through and not the darkness? Some of you guys could be dealing with another Gemini. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius here with the King of Swords. There is a big chance that you're being called to move. Maybe you're being called to move to a different home, different apartment, different space, different country. Maybe you are being called or invited by the universe to allow some kind of movement that will at the end of the day be better for you maybe someone maybe an air sign is inviting you to move in with them or something like that let's see universe please give me the three messages that gemini most need this second week of july Give me three messages, please. The universe brings all I need to feel blissful. So if you're worried about your resources, you don't have to be. The universe brings all that you need to feel blissful. Even if that, as I mentioned earlier, that could be something medical for some of you guys. If you feel like you're feeling depressed, if you feel like you're feeling really down, you know, 
is there a doctor that you should check on with? You know, is that a hormonal thing? Is that a um, mental health issue? You know, like, is it a circumstantial issue? Like, what is it exactly? Is it a spiritual issue? Make sure to understand that the universe will provide everything that you need to feel better, but you do have to um, also try to help yourself and see what is making you feel this way as well. The Wheel of Fortune. I trust whatever the universe brings me. Beautiful. And Temperance. I find clarity through calm. Some of you guys are going to need to be a little bit patient with yourselves, with your lives. And that's okay. And I feel like if you're worrying about a partner, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be. So I do feel like some of you guys are worrying about like a girlfriend leaving you or like a friend leaving you or a mother figure. I don't think you need to worry about that right now. Worry about yourself and where you're headed. Universe, please grant me uh, the ideal message for Geminis for their financial and material world this second week of July. I am using the Angels of Abundance. That's why I'm asking for a message in this particular area. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God, and your faith is what opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. I do feel like some Geminis have zero faith that the universe is actually going to help you. You have more faith that the universe is going to sink you. So that's what you're going to attract. Make sure that you are connected to the faith that there is a higher power taking care of you, that you are provided for, that you are loved, and that everything is going to be okay. Just a sparkle of faith is going to open up that door for all of these blessings to come in. And remember that God is your source. I trust whatever the universe brings me. The universe brings all I need to feel blissful. So you are being supported. You are being guided. Trust in what is showing up and trust that um, it will guide you to a better space. And know that those who love you are supposed to love you no matter what okay so you you deserve this love don't feel like if if that you know like don't don't feel like this person is going to walk away from you that goes for the people for the gemini's that feel like there's a person who's going to walk away if they do walk away you know like that's the best thing that can happen to you because honestly you need someone who can be by your side no matter what okay so that's what i have for you guys i hope that you're having a wonderful wonderful mid july and please make sure to be subscribed to my channel before you go i would love to have you here it would make me smile it would make my day <laughs> so yeah you guys um hope you have a good day bye